YouTube video. Say hi to YouTube if you want to. Don't say YouTube if you don't. <clears throat> w. W, Ethan. Damn, I wanted to watch that Nigeria video. We'll watch that. We'll watch that tomorrow, bro. All right. Next video. The problem with the black community. I've been seeing a lot of these videos recently, bro. Huh, Shasphere is such a hard name. Hey, man. It's a hard name, but I'm even harder. But I'm not gonna lie, I've been seeing a lot of like the problem with the black this, black that, black these, black nuts. But let's see what this nigga has to say about it, bro. Oh, fuck. Bro, why do I keep doing that, bro? Fuck. All right, let's so get it. Before you guys jump me, lay it all over me, I'm definitely not a raccoon for the title of this video. See, one day Waves became popular and everyone was dying to get the cleanest 360s. I'm talking spinning harder than Shit, a Shit, I wasn't getting no fucking Waves, bro. Dragon without some Timmy in the high school hallway yelling out, Wave check. And if you weren't spinning, Facts though. Fucked. Waves were so popping, they even turned it into a meme. They Facts. gave Donald Trump Waves, they gave Barack Obama Waves. Bro, Have this shit happened back when fucking Drip Too Hard came out, bro, because I remember that Donald Trump meme. I probably got that shit in my phone right now. Oh, bro. They even gave it to Buzz Lightyear. Now in the present, not too much has changed. It's What's the good, year 24 and we have a new meme. And it's known as the Ad Dreads. Now let me elaborate. Ever since Dreads became a trend, a new joke called the Ad Dreads came about. Brad chicken skin ass dreads. Popcorn ceiling Bro, dreads, and y'all, bro, y'all niggas in chat be a part of that bullshit too, bro. I remember I was doing I was doing my stream where it was like stress the type of nigga, and someone was like stress the type of nigga to have uh Oh, way in the water as dreads. Like, what the fuck does that even mean, bro? Like, what the fuck? Ass dreads, dreadful ass dreads, raisin bran ass dreads. And I can't even lie, like, bro. The top five cereal. Fuck no, that nigga. What is he shaking? Just fuck no. Oh no no no, ad dreads. That's crazy. That's how great I am, ad dreads. Before and before ad dreads. Now, I'm not even going to lie to you. These are pretty funny. But then I realized we can't have nothing. See, back in the oh, day, God, we, we can't. had a cut called the high top fade. Will Smith had it. Tupac had it. Even I had it. But if you get that same cut in 2024, you're getting roasted into the oblivion for Facts. having a sky top fade. Now, this right here is a textbook sky top fade. This air Nah. His shit's cut. Like, what headspace do you got to be to want these motherfucking dreads, bruh? What type of head? What what type of address do I have, bro? This nigga got the Medusa wannabe address, bro. Nigga got the nigga got the fucking tangled large ass dress, bro. Yeah, you need to cut that shit off now, bro. And it's it's just braided though, so I bet it doesn't even look bad whenever it's out of that shit, bro. Did you cut your hair? You're showing a lot more forehead. Uh, did you turn gay because you're sucking way more dick? Cock looking ass dress. These don't even look like fucking cocks. Area right here alone. Nothing else. Everything is the baldy. If you get this cut, you unlock a whole new set of attributes. What the fuck? The comments will be spammed with restart. Bro's finished. Sky top dread. Let me not even target a specific group of people. Straight haired folk have had McDonald's hairline since the beginning Damn. of history. But as soon as an African American male doesn't have the crispiest Travis Kelsey cut, along with the smoothest Paul George, Jalen Rose hairline, people will flock to you. Look Facts. Look at your hairline, bro. Black people are soon gonna run out of hairstyle. Why you dick munching? I ain't even do nothing. Yo, chat, isn't it the same nigga that just fucking said, Did you cut your hair? You're showing a lot more forehead. This is the same cocksucker. Fuck. That's all right. Whenever you rock an afro, too nappy. What are you gonna do with your hair? What are you gonna do with your hair? It's already done. What do you mean? But if you don't want the large afro and you get a short one, they call you the Smash Bros. Cut. They call you the Weeb Warrior, Anime Lover 3000, and those. Bro, now that I keep hearing more and more and more of this, this nigga's on to something, bro. Black people can't have fucking shit. We can't have nothing, bro. A nigga could be bald and be like, damn, bro. Happened because of old age, right? Like, bro, we can't have shit. We resemble too mad. We low key be getting flamed for just being here. Now, not only do our hairstyles get Is that a bad thing? I ain't even this. You literally are talking about my forehead. Like, I know you, guys remember the forehead. <laughs> you know what you're doing, That's nigga. He's just doing a pose. Or the sheesh. How did that turn into a joke? When D'Angelo Russell first did that after he had a three pointer for the win? That shit was cold to me. I'm not being soft. I'm not being a victim. I'm just telling you like it is. Oh, God, it was called. On TikTok, they allow cold? blatant cold. racism. Have you heard of the well, well, well trend? P oh, y'all niggas in chat. People. What is that supposed to mean, dude? And then we look at the comments. Let me just slide over just a little bit right here. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. Look, look. Damn. When does it end? Oh, my God. Damn. End. But surely. That shit kept going? What's good, Melanie? Press this air when see what pops up. What's good, man? Oh. Did your beard finally connect? Oh, shit. You're fucking Aiden, bro. I can tell by the A A X X shit. What's good, bro? What's good, bro? W new say, account, man. We all know what you're doing. You're trying to be sneaky. But at this point... They're not even trying but to be hey, sneaky. Melanie, hey, Melanie, hey. You're to make them niggas that mad. So, for today's agenda... I, black people, are the joke. 
So let's take a deep dive into black Twitter. And I want to start us off by saying all black podcasts should be abolished. Now, podcasts are made to be entertaining, give us some insight, think a little deeper. Let's see what we can learn from this. Some of you niggas get so comfortable, you start farting around your woman. You bug it. Now she looks. Who the? Who, like, niggas get on this shit and just start saying bullshit, bro. Like, motherfuckers just be chatting, bro. Y'all niggas get too comfortable around your woman and start farting. Why the nigga call me out though? Looking at you like a regular degla nigga. I don't do none of that type of shit around my bitch. I'm not taking no shits around my woman. I'm not farting around my woman because I'm not getting too comfortable. She gotta see me as excellence. Uh, a woman can never say she smell my fart. Never in life. No, I gotta stop that. What are we like, like? Like my nigga, your bitch is not gonna go out here saying, "Damn, my nigga smart. My, my nigga's fart smells so bad, bro." Like your bitch is not gonna be saying that shit, my nigga. Talking about what was niggas the just chatting. Trying to be that guy. But can we talk about the political and economic state of the world? There are real issues. Can we please talk about how to? God damn that James Smith bitch. Fix the guy. But can we talk? Yo, his bitch is kind of bad. What about the political chat. Does that make me a milkman, bro? What the fuck is she? This nigga bitch bad. Political economic state of the world. There are real issues. Can we please talk about how to fix the NBA All Star game? <laughs> Cause that shit was ass. These podcasts are always speaking about relationship hypothetical issues. No, she bad. Okay, just making sure. That rarely happen. Fellas, if she hugs a dude, how many bodies is that? 12. Look at me. Y'all see how 12. I look like this? this man that brought me on a date to Shake Shack. What's wrong with Shake Shack? Hey, Shake Shack the is fuck? one of the top 10 burgers on the planet. That shit gas. Man, this is what you got me. Any other That's female would have loved to go to Shake I see two burgers. Um, you're actually eating pretty good. Maybe a little bit too good. Shit, nah, she big as hell. I ain't gonna lie. She got a, she got a triple back ass crack, my nigga. Holy fuck. You might want to watch that. You won't hear a word out of me. Let alone take my camera out. Like, look where this man brought me, y'all. Brought me to, he brought me to Shake Shack. There was a clip that went viral the other day of a rapper taking some dude's girl on stage, giving her that Alicia Keys. That Omelay. That Omelay shit. I ain't gonna lie, he better than me, my nigga. I would have crashed out. Oh, no, I would have crashed out, bro. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry, bro. RPG with a goddamn switch on that motherfucker. Bow, 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 bow. I'm sorry. I I'm not. This is blatant disrespect. She not your girl no more. Oh, God, she not. Whole audience, that's got to be equivalent to like 3,000 bodies. 3,346 bodies. I didn't even see this. I didn't even see this. She was doing all of that, my nigga? Oh, nah. Cloud is a hell of a drug, bro. My bitch is taking... My bitch is taking shadow back shots, my nigga. Not even real ones. Oh, nah! Oh, bro. I'm so... Like I just said, bro. RPG with a switch, my nigga. Da, 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 da. Like, my nigga, the whole place is burning down. What the fuck? Is that the boyfriend right here? Credit to him though, because this is a top five crash out moment of all time. Oh. Public humiliation is no joke. Oh my god. Now the topic, oh my god. To oh my god. I'm sorry, but oh my god. That's crazy. What's good, Ellie Banana? Ellie walking to the goddamn motherfucking stream, bro. Talk about B52, the I need to bomb and run. The <laughs> compared to other slurs. When the streamer gets banned for N word usage, the motherfucking rape of six million. Oh man, I, I don't got my. I don't got my shit plugged in, but boom, 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 boom. explosion. All right, bro. Right now, I'm watching the problem with the black community. To forget about it, but God forbid if you How's your stream? on Twitch, you may never see the light of day ever again. The streamer Facts. Mizkif saying the N word. He uses the word in the hard art. Oh fuck! Pull up. Thing. I, I am not, I am death. not, Moxie, I am not oh, one for second chances. Y'all appreciate the motherfucker follow, man. Fire stream gangly reacted to some uh, murder mystery shit. She was insane. I found you on just chatting Thai shit, and I got to tap in, my boy. Yo, shoot with the motherfucking follow. I appreciate you, bro. Envy, I appreciate yeah, you, bro. Nigga. Whoa! Yeah, what? Now, with the N-word hard R usage, do you think Parma Band is justified? Oh, would you look at that? He's actually live right now. Apparently, Ninja has an entire YouTube compilation of him saying no, the word. Saying has any black person been banned for saying the hard R and hasn't, like, and, and hasn't, like, uh, like, got their shit back? Because if that's the case, that's fucking racism. I ain't gonna lie to you. That's actually racism. What? I've never heard Ninja say that shit. Compilation of him saying the word. No one likes that nigger. What? 
That is insane. My glorious King Tyler Blevins. What happened to Ninja got a low taper fade? This nigga? An entire YouTube com He has multiple multiple offenses? Nah, what the fuck? You saying the N-word hard arm is pretty crazy. Usually it's a one time, two time. A whole compilation actually is fucking insane, bro. This nigga's a repeated offender, bro. No, that's what I'm saying, bro. Ninja before the low taper fade. Speaking of YouTube, a lot of the videos on Black that's YouTube are a little bit concerning. We got serving my girlfriend breakfast while wearing no clothes. Picking up my pregnant girlfriend with no pants on to see her reaction. And I no way these are real videos, right? <laughs> there's no way. Can I smash prank? <laughs> like, there's no way these are real, right? Can I smash prank. Gone sexual. Let's do it right now, prank on crap. And the thumbnails don't make this shit any better, bro. That's real. There, there's just no way, bro. Fresh. You can't forget the infamous Zam. She swelled thumbnail. What? How is this? Yo. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Niggas is cooked. Niggas is actually cooked. Damn, she's 12. Zam, she's spicy. What the fuck are we talking about here, bro? Grown ass man, by the way. Now let's take a look at just one of these prank videos. Where is the hand going, bro? Uh, yeah, we see that hand, bro. That's straight up softcore pornography, bro. Hey, baby. This is literally harassment, straight up. This is corny, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> bro. Excuse me. Oh, you better run for your life. This is corny, I ain't gonna lie to you. Come on, we need to see him get his ass beat, I ain't gonna lie. This is the good ending. This shit corny. And give him the benefit of doubt. That shit corny, I ain't gonna lie to you. You might be a paraplegic after that. Now, moving on from YouTube to the very famous Chinese app called TikTok, we have a new trend of what we call gutter bunnies. You've heard of the term snow. What the fuck? Bro, I swear, every time I get on TikTok, there's a new fucking trend, Monica. Like, what the fuck is a gutter bunny, Monica? Pre, pre ghetto black bitch or something, bunnies. bro. You know, the white women who are into the British broadcasting company. Characteristics of a gutter bunny. Oh, so it's white bitches that like black niggas? Is that is that what I'm getting at? Include wannabe ghetto, singing rap lyrics, specifically gangster rap, and just being white. Yeah, knew it. What he trying to do? So I cut my move, but he kept walking. He don't want no. And they go viral for just singing the rap lyrics. Like yeah, no, this is actually crazy, bro. I literally saw a motherfucker singing um. Uh, a Kodak Black song. I, I think it was No Flocking. I could be wrong, but everybody knows No Flocking. And it was just a white girl in like a red dress singing that hoe. And oh my goodness, bro. That should have like 7.6 million views. Are we serious, my nigga? I can do that shit. I can do it. What makes her so special? Everybody else. All right, but now nah, sometimes that shit do be like low-key attractive, bro. Because I like me a bitch that like knows where's the songs and shit. That shit sometimes be attractive, I ain't gonna lie. It show, it show the different side of a motherfucker that you wouldn't expect, bro. So I, I, I can understand it. We know you memorize this verse just for the video, and then you're gonna go back to listen to your Morgan Wallen. But yeah, that's fact. So they be some body build. Nigga, I like bodies. I got bodies with the slimes, niggas. Like, why is she moving like that? I don't know where to find him. What's good, uh? I need work ASAP. Lewis, it was good, uh, Keontae. Yeah, but you're black. Bunnies are so viral, so prolific. It's because after Facts. they rap a two-second verse, some random black dude in the comments is going to eat it up. Time I I need that. I need one of those. You must have not remembered the Central Park Five and Emmett Till and the historical stuff. Okay? You don't need any of that. But in all actuality, well, white girls that's are crazy. that I know who can go viral for just rapping the lyrics of a song. Facts. That exact same verse. Will I go viral? No, sir. Fuck no. I know you guys have seen the trend of- Then I switched the body better. Take a bitch and body better. My fault. I had to hit that hoe, bro. I had to hit that hoe, bro. I might listen to that song after this shit. The African music Ramble me on to that shit. I ain't gonna lie. The other one's name. Now, let me do some shit to, to fucking pumped up kids with a goddamn AR-15 with a switch on, walk around happy, giggly and fucking laughing and shit, and watch, watch me get canceled for it. But, but niggas can do that fucking cultural appropriation shit, right? But I, but I get in trouble for doing that? Crazy. He hitting that bit though. God, he hitting that though. Damn. Now, I'm not a Damn. Damn. That. Damn. There's a reason why they're viral. And it's because they're white doing the dance. I'm gonna end it off with stupid ass rappers being a representation of us as a people. With headlines in the news like Fabio Foreign going broke after getting 30 million, Blueface and Krishan fighting, getting tattooed. Man, these motherfuckers piss me off, bro. 
That, that pissed me off, bro. Now, I don't just dust you. That nigga can actually dance. Nah, that nigga, that nigga caught with it, though. I ain't gonna lie. What you mean, to Lewis? Let's clean to me. That nigga was hitting that bitch. I can't lie. We should cancel you just for that? I'm about to cancel you, nigga. You're gonna have to make a whole other account to watch this fucking stream, buddy. And even <clears> sexy <throat> red being a role model to young children. My nigga, yeah, we're cooked as a fucking society, bro. Hey, what the fuck? Can we do better, guys? Can, can we do better, guys? <laughs> like, why are they teaching sexy red in school and remixing it, bro? They're, they're trying to treat this shit like the golden days of YouTube with Minecraft parody. This is not it. Oh. My. God. It's only black community, bro. That shit is crazy, bro. Strippers in his crib and called his six or five year old son gay for looking for snacks. I don't know. Let's be honest. Uh, we not getting nowhere else in life. We're the last of our kind. <laughs> that would be saying, yeah, nah. This is Where disgusting. We need to stop glorifying this shit. They might not be saying the actual cuss words to the songs, but they're hearing. Yeah. Children are impressionable. I'm not blaming Sexy Red for making the music. She can make whatever music she wants. She's a fully grown adult. But kids should not be listening to that. And it doesn't take a child development major to figure that. Out. Last rapper we're gonna briefly talk about is Boosie because Boosie just be, be doing shit. He just be doing shit, bro. I don't know if he thinks that nigga's not a real person. The streets. He not the hood philosopher. He's really a Boondocks character at best in terms of opinions. Now, not to get too smart on y'all and use his 4.0 GPA, but unless we make a change to how black people are portrayed in mainstream media, we will pretty much always be seen as a caricature or comedic relief to every other facts. Person. Then again, we're pretty much damned if we do and damned if we don't, because we can be made fun of for just being here, like with the examples of like the hair. It's over for us, bro. It's just over. But that's bro. Oh God, I can just fucking, I can just look at y'all niggas. Y'all gonna make fun of me, bro. Like I, I can really just do this right here, and y'all gonna make fun of me, bro. Like That's gonna do it for this video. Hope y'all enjoyed. Appreciate y'all for sticking to the end. Obviously, like the video, subscribe, join up the Discord, follow the Instagram. I'll catch y'all in the next one. With that being said, it's love hill all. I love you, and I'm out. Hey. W fucking video, bro. Nigga didn't miss. Nigga didn't miss. Bro got a goatee.